Teacher Talk and Sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in. In less than a month's time, the next World Series winner will be crowned and a World Series MVP will be named. The World Series MVP has been handed out since 1955, now known as the Willie Mays World Series Most Valuable Player Award. All in all, 19 guys who have won World Series MVP have gone on to be named Baseball Hall of Famers. Well, in this video, we're going to take a look at five guys I consider to be the most obscure World Series MVP winners. They're not going to make the Baseball Hall of Fame, but they are a part of a select group of players who have won that World Series MVP. Uh, so forever can be in baseball lore. Let's get into it. I'll name them from five to one. Starting at number five, we're gonna go with Rick Dempsey, who in 1983 with the Orioles named World Series MVP. This is catcher heavy. Dempsey, the first of them. Maybe not necessarily an obscure career because he played 24 seasons in the big league from 1969 to 1992, but if you look at his offensive numbers, you don't expect them to be a World Series MVP. 233 batting average, 666 OPS, 96 homers in what was a lengthy career, but you take a look at that 1983 World Series, he batted 385, 5 for 13, all of his 5 hits went for extra bases, 4 doubles, 1 homer, 2 RBIs, 3 runs, 4th Let's go to another catcher, Steve Yeager of the Dodgers, who in 1981 won World Series MVP. That season he played in just 42 games, regular season, batting 209 with three homers. For his career, 15 seasons, batted 228 with a 653 OPS. Did have 102 homers, so six seasons with double digit homers. Uh, but definitely came to play in that 81 World Series. Shown pop in his bat. 4 for 14. Two of the hits were home runs. Four RBIs. Also had a double. Steve Yeager is fourth. Third, let's go with Steve Pierce, the most recent winner on this list. In 2018, uh, joined the Red Sox about midway through the season. Playing 50 games for them. Was pretty productive. 901 OPS. Uh, but in that 2018 World Series, Pierce, five games, 333 batting average, three homers, eight RBIs, a double. So all four of his hits went for extra bases as he went four for 12. Uh, during his playing career, though, 13 seasons, 254 batting average, 91 homers, 303 RBIs. Second, we're going to go with a relief pitcher, that being Larry Sherry uh, with the Dodgers in 1959 was named World Series MVP. Uh, that season he started nine games and it was definitely his best season in the big leagues as he went 7-2 and two with a 2.19 ERA. Um, so definitely was his best season in the big leagues. In that World Series he went 2-0. and oh, um, 12 and a two-thirds innings, just one earned run giving up in four games, eight hits, two walks, five strikeouts, so one, two games, saved the other two, so um, played a role in all four of the wins for his career, won 53 games, had 82 saves, um, Steve, excuse me, Larry Sherry, second on this list, and in my opinion, the most obscure World Series MVP is catcher Pat Borders, who was a member of back-to-back -back World Series winning teams with the Toronto Blue Jays, was named the World Series MVP in the first of those in 1992. Borders played 17 seasons in the big leagues, 253 batting average, 663 OPS, uh, just 69 homers in his career. Uh, baseball reference only credits him for 3.6 war. But in the 1992 World Series, he went 9 for 20, hit a homer, 3 doubles, so 450 batting average, 3 RBIs. In my eyes, Pat Borders is the most obscure World Series MVP winner. There you have it, my 5 most obscure World Series MVP winners again. 
on a select group of players to win that World Series MVP. So, again, um, you know, forever will be loved by the fan base who got to see them play in that World Series. But, again, we are less than a month away from the 2023 World Series winner being crowned and a new World Series MVP being added to the list. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications, I'm out.